and on top of this architectural differences with the components which are residing in 1.2.x concepts we have additionally some of the things are there which means work with which means improves the performance of a hadoop let us drive the things what are the major issues with are dealing with the 1.x 2.x here particularly whenever we are dealing with the 1.x 2.x means in the future level as the hadoop core components means we have two things are there right what are the things hdfs and map reduce fine in the 2.x we have additionally yarn yet another resource negotiator which will perform will uses to work with the cluster resource management this is was this is and this also works with the advanced processing component on top of map reduce to perform the hadoop jobs in a faster manner in a efficient manner for the purpose itself the and will pop, will will takes the very popular with respect to the 2.x and will deal will leads the higher performances and high higher throughputs and on top of this this was the first feature we added one of the component that is yarn to the existing hadoop cluster hdfs and map reduce on top of this components level this we have in the one point text whenever we are dealing with this name nodes and all things means we have to maintain only one name node and one name space will be available in the one point text but here we can maintain multiple name nodes and multiple name spaces what's it our advantages with dealing with multiple name nodes and multiple name spaces and you got understand this architectural differences right let's go on with in detail we have data node 1 data node 2 let's consider eight data nodes and i am driving this as a two racks fine on top of this we have to make a communication with the name node fine as the name node will have the complete responsibility to work with the these two racks actually this connection we have to maintain both the racks will have the equal responsibility to share the complete data from the, on any one of the locations fine on top of this as the name node means only one name node only one name space is there suppose we have more number of requests are there to suddenly reaches to the name node means what happened the name node unable to serve and we have to maintain we are giving the over burden to particularly which are residing in the process component that is job tracker in the majorly the we are in the 1.x version 0.x 1.x version we have only one job tracker in the name node which deals all the user requests and all performs the all the jobs in a name node but that is what the one major issue with the job tracker but then and for, and whenever you are dealing with the single name node means we have to suppose or the suppose again one name node is this active name node is get downs means again we are having the issues with storing of metadata and accessing of metadata for that purpose itself in 2.x they added multiple name nodes concept and we can also maintain one more name node three also fine what is the advantages by adding the multiple name nodes means whenever we are adding the multiple name node means obviously we may add job trackers also fine in 2.x i am saying this 
processing components means we cannot say this as a job trackers actually we have to call it as a resource manager fine in one point x we have job trackers task trackers two point x we have resource managers and node managers here whenever we are maintaining these issues with the multiple resource managers means we can easily achieve the higher performances with with having the less burden to the processing components and suppose sometimes we have to deal with the multiple type of requests suppose i have three kind of projects where i am working with the my entire hadoop cluster suppose i am having the request types are three types r1 r2 and r3 all these request types we have to maintain and maintain the metadata in a single name node as in the one point x but based on the three independent request if you want to maintain three name spaces means three metadata informations m1 m2 m3 whenever we are distributing these name spaces and these request levels means obviously we can increase the performances whenever we are adding the name node means we have the obviously one name spaces multiple name spaces fine with respect to the name nodes and name spaces we can achieve the higher performances on top of this 2.x hadoop version this maintaining of multiple name nodes and multiple name spaces and working by getting a higher throughput this complete concept we are saying as a hdfs federation sometimes we are saying that what is hdfs federation which is especially we are dealing with the hadoop 2.x this are the concept like multi having multiple name nodes and multiple name spaces that is hdfs federation we have only in 2.x architecture we don't have with the 1.x fine and we can also expects here the in the 2.x we have additional concept that is high availability and here we don't have high availability fine what is the advantage of this high availability we already seen this this shared memory of shared metadata information with on top of this name nodes whenever the all these name nodes are working with a single shared metadata information they can easily ex access the complete structure of these data nodes fine suppose the name node one is stored the file one dot txt it maintains some copy fine suddenly the name node getting downs the name node will to i will act as a active name node as the standby name node will become as a active name node and this will also points i have access of meta information of file one can easily gives the responses to the user request at any time but if you don't have the shared metadata information means obviously we have to wait for this name node one active state only then only we can get the some of the major changes this high availability concept is also very very important with respect to the shared metadata like the shared edit logs and shared fs fs image files with respect to the 2.x architecture on top of this 2.x architecture we already we have in the job tracker we have over button is we are giving the over button but in the job in the processing components we are giving the li lenience to the resource managers to work with the more efficient manner on top of this we this is the normal level suppose i have as a my organization necessity need i divided my entire storage capacity in the terms of eight data nodes only suppose each data node who is holding the 1 terabyte of memory management memory disk and suddenly means the as the complete cluster how much of memory i can store as process of 8 terabytes fine with including the replications i can maximum store 2.223 terabytes of data only why means again we have to replicate it if i have the 2 terabytes of actual information is there means again whenever we are storing in the data nodes it becomes 6 terabytes by including the replication factor as 2 yes yes like this we have 8 terabytes of data is there suddenly i got a data like 3 terabytes fine if you want to store 3 terabytes how much minimum how much space we have to required as in the cluster 
at least as the replication factor is 3 means we need 9 terabytes into the right, existing cluster. But we have only 8 data nodes with the 8 TB storage. We have to add 1 TB storage mechanism to the our existing cluster. If you want to add in the nodes in the existing cluster in the distribution question means it is not a simple job with a normal traditional architectures. But how do we give the higher information, higher reliability to scale as many as nodes when requires. Fine. That is what the related information we have with the high scalability. In the both the as the Hadoop itself gives the feature like high scalability with less up and down time uh, with less downtime with respect to the Hadoop cluster. Both in 1.x and 2.x we have the both uh, both the concept of scalability but in 2.x we have really we have invented one more thing is we got horizontal scalability without downtime. Here we can we can only perform the vertical scalability not at horizontal scalability on top of this selection what is meant by horizontal vertical means we can easily add the network add the data nodes whenever you require based on the same network cluster itself fine this what the major features on top of this 1.x 2.x to work with the more environment Hadoop 2.x is more genuine to work with the high reliable, scalable, availability features to maintain the Hadoop, the data is in the, the data in a efficient manner. That is what the basic understanding between 1.x and 2.x architectures. We also work with the more components will directly work with the YAN on top of the storage capacity. We can also say that this YAN is also a second version of MapReduce. Why means it will also perform the, all the actions of MapReduce. On top of it also works the cluster resource management also. I will tell you how to manage these resources in the clusters. Particularly we can deal the capacity schedules, all the things we can maintain. And here in the 2 point text we have one more, two more concepts also added. As we have seen name node, standby name node and all things, we have application master and capacity schedule. These two things also having in 2.x architecture only. We don't have this application master and capacity schedules in 1.x. What the major resources will be happen with the application master means maintain the replication copies and maintain the checkpoints. All these things will maintain the application master. And application master will maintain will use the prominence for single application level. Suppose I am working with multiple applications in a single cluster, means obviously we have multiple application masters for each application we have a one application master like it is performed as a one manager to the entire resources of a that application level and the capacity scheduler will takes the complete understanding of how much capacity we have to allocate i already given the things like suppose i have a three processing requests so r1 and r2 r3 suppose if you want to execute this r1 r2 in a parallel mode fine r1 will needs maximum 70 percent of resources in the of the entire cluster and as the r2 will needs only 10 percent r3 will need again remaining 20 percent this was the actual capacity requirements as from the user but as the normal hadoop cluster means it gives the equal preferences for the three processes as the r1 r2 r3 for this purpose itself we can schedule we can arrange the capacities of a we can give the priorities to the any one of the requirements and we can arrange these cluster resources based on user requirement. How we can maintain and how in the capacity schedule, how we can perform the capacity schedule operations in the two point text, everything we can check in the practicals. Fine. And however, however, we have the multiple name nodes in the existing cluster, each and every name node ha can have the read access of the metadata information and only we have one, we are giving the right access to the any one of the name node this entire concept we are saying as a fencing in the hdfs what is meant by fencing related to the editing of something like editing of a giving the edit permission to the metadata fine if you want to suppose if you want to edit this metadata if you want to write some metadata files like fs image and edit logs means we have only one requirement we are giving only one requirement specifications for the any one of the name node 
suppose who is the suppose in among all the name nodes only one name node will act as a active mode which is having the active name node only that active name node will have the access of editing or writing permission to perform the to writing a tasks in the directly in the shared fs shared nfs image that is metadata as the remaining data nodes can only have the access to read the metadata information and to search the request this is nothing but some simple concept like fencing and in the normal architecture if you is we are already seeing is that in the, in the if you have some multiple thousands of nodes also if you consider means as the hadoop means it maintains for the large clusters as the as the large companies large customer based companies like community level companies like facebook and google yahoo ebay these are the also hadoop clients hadoop customers and those are maintaining thousands of data nodes on top of to store huge amount of data as per their requirements and as a rack means we are maintaining as the 40 nodes suppose if we have a 100 100 data nodes are there in existing cluster and if you want to maintain at least 12 terabytes of processing means it takes only 5 minutes if you want if you want to process a 12 terabytes in a normal three shot sense more stakes more than that time but in the within 5 minutes itself the hadoop will performs but it minimum we have to maintain 100 data nodes as the hadoop will also performs the tasks in a distributed manner and it also executes the tasks in a parallel fashion for that purpose itself it performs the in very well and in high speed executions that is what the differences between 1.x and 2.x and i will give you the some of the in the practicals also i will show you how to differentiate 1.x and 2.x on top of this versional differences i hope you guys are already on the given the information related to the hadoop distributions we have majorly three different hadoop distributions are there on top of we have we are working with the several distributions are also there more than we have 100 nowadays in the in earlier days we don't have the contributors for the apa hadoop as part of the only apache software foundation on top of this apache software foundation by giving the popularity for the hadoop the cloud era and hortonworks and mapper these are we are saying as a major contributions to the hadoop in part of the development of a components and working their features on top of this we can also work with more than more customers more contributors are there these are the major popular resources and apache still give it is giving the resources as a open source as a free and these are also these things we are maintaining based on the client based client requirement these are maintaining also maintaining some customer base also some uh, some paid customers also it is maintaining and as part of this our execution and manner or already given the information like i am using the cloudera distributed version hadoop to process to work and to store the huge amount of data i will tell you the scenarios where exactly the hadoop will matches and to work with the hadoop and as per we are adding keep on adding the data nodes means if we are in the hadoop cluster we no need to bother about that we already given that all these data nodes and maintaining we are maintaining all the cluster setup with the commodity hardware only we like this with the commodity and less cost effective less cost itself we can maintaining a huge amount of storage cap as huge amount of storage with on top of this hadoop cluster and finally we are updating with the hdfs hadoop distributed file system as a fault tolerant and high reliable concepts